Hey, movie fans, welcome back to After the Credits, where we break down the latest and greatest movies, including our favorite scenes, quotes, trivia, and even how we think it should have ended. Grab a bowl of popcorn and enjoy the show. Hello, and welcome back to After the Credits with Tyler and Dylan again. In the upper level of the dungeon. The upper dungeon, yeah. Uh, joined by Spooky to Kitty. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, he's... Yeah. No, I've, I've over he, uh I don't know if that's a like an open word doc, but he will walk on that keyboard. Yeah, he already... It, yeah, he's opened up... Uh, because we talked about this in the last episode. He is a stereotypical cat. Yep, 100%. That's okay. Uh, it, it'll be just fine. Um, so we are coming back for the second installment of our The Wonkaverse. Two of three. This is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, as in the first, uh, as opposed to the first one being Willy yep. Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yep. Um, so let's just hop right into this, some bitch. Um, so, hey, are you feeling froggy? Jump. No way. Well, you better hop to it. Ah. <laughs> oh, dad my, jokes. Yeah. No, and and, and lit- quite literally, that was my dad. Um, he told Except me that all it, the time. No surprise. Like I, I go to try to fight him. He'd be like, "You feeling froggy?" Hop, hop to it. <laughs> and then what else did he always say that I say now as a dad is like, well, and, and it's usually like the kids like, are we there yet? Or how much longer until that hopper is ready? And it's like, you know what the monkey said when he cut off his own tail? It won't be long now. <laughs> it's so, it's it's so, so stupid. I love it, though. I love it. I'm going to use that. The That's last fantastic. one, the last one, and then I'll shut the fuck up, and we can maybe do this after the credits. Thing I, yes, we, are, I, we, we didn't do. come here to do that it's, at all. Is, uh, uh, like, you'll be describing how to get to a place. And it's like, oh, well, do you know the Walmart over on 16th Street? You know where that's at? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I know where that's at. It's nowhere near there. <laughs> <laughs> Giving directions to someone be like, yeah, you so you know that Walmart? Yeah, don't. It's not near there. Right. Don't worry about it. Or like <laughs> you say. Look at this. <laughs> hey. Spooky. Hey. What are you doing? You're on your. His ass is going to lay down right in front of that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm just going to lick myself in front of the camera. That's cool. That no fantastic. one can see anything. Yep. No, nope. it's a good time to like, if you got boogers, like, yeah. get them out. Yep. Um, oh. Hey, can you get down please? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, you see that? Come on. Come on. I'll go get him. Yeah. Go get that cat. Start the podcast for me, please. So we are coming back with the second installment again for, uh, yeah, for the Wonka verse. Um, this one is Charlie and the chocolate factory. The one with Johnny Depp. Um, playing Willy Wonka. So the storyline for this one is when Willy Wonka decides, and it's also, it's it's uh, worth it to be, oh, hey, welcome back, video video people. We had to get rid of the kitty. Um, it's, it's, it's worth stating that this one is is based off the book and not, not a remake of the original film. It's, it's worth stating that. So when Willy Wonka decides to let five children into his chocolate factory, he decides to release five golden tickets and five separate chocolate bars throughout the world, causing complete mayhem. The tickets start to be found, with the fifth going to a very special boy, Charlie Bucket. And his father, or sorry, not his father, his grandfather, um, Grandpa George. Uh, Charlie joins the rest of the children to experience the most amazing factory ever. But not everything goes as planned within the factory. Um, the tagline for this one, which I, I do like this tagline, um, and Tim Burton does a good job with his taglines, but the tagline for this one is, the factory opens July 2005. So, and... and okay. And yeah. We, yeah I, real cool it teaser. In yeah. To, you know, the when the movie comes out. Right. Yeah. And we and we talked about, uh, uh, you know, previously, well, like well, I guess in the last episode, but we talked about um, the use of taglines and everything, and this movie came out 34 years after the original. That's crazy. Um, so just the teaser of the factory opens July 2005. I, I remember seeing a poster of just a hat and a glove, just the hat and the purple glove, and just underneath it, the only words were, the factory opens July 2005. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, fuck yes. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So let me ask you, um, because now we're in like reboot territory, lower uh, remake territory. But see, How- it's not, though. It's not. It's not because, but it, but it is I'm essentially. I kind of, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. How how long? How long do you think we get? Um, I mean, and this goes with superheroes too. Mm-hmm. I mean, Andrew Garfield 
came out what less than 10 years after Toby Maguire. Mm-hmm. Tom Holland came out less than what five years after was it Andrew Garfield? Okay. I don't know, but yeah. it seems uh, sure, yeah, right. it, it seems very quick that we can see all of that within our adult lifetime. Mm-hmm. Um, now this this was 30 years. Mm-hmm. I mean 34 years. Yeah, I mean we're going from my dad being one year old to 35 years old. Yeah, I feel like that's enough time. Right. That's a new audience. Mm-hmm. Oh, brand new. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And but it, also still be able to be enjoyed by the people who viewed it when it when yeah, it originally came out. Anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So what I mean, do you got a time in mind? Like, oh, no, that's too quick. Or no, that's that's good because it's been at least this long for like just movies in general for yeah. doing. Re- uh, see. Yeah. I mean, it, it depends on the movie. It um, does. You know, I, I, if, if the movie uh, alone on, on its own was was fantastic and phenomenal and still still holds up. Then it's like, yeah, that really doesn't need to be redone or remade. You know, um, I don't think they need to do a remake of the original Lord of the Rings movies for, uh, in my opinion, ever. There's some that don't need to be touched at all. Yeah. Um, I think this one, I think that the concept of it was was fine, mm-hmm. um, and I think the time frame that was spent was long. But again, mm-hmm. it, it completely encapsulates a, an entirely new audience with it yeah. um, that get to enjoy it with their parents who watch it when they were young. And I'm all for. Is, is many different variations of the same thing. Yes, yeah. I mean, I'm you see it with for, the Joker. Yeah, like, I, yeah. And that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. All the different Jokers and the Batman. Mm-hmm. Um, I, and this one, the tone of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is so different. Oh, very, very much so, yeah. I mean, and not and not just because you have Johnny Depp as fucking Willy Wonka, mm-hmm. and not just because you have Tim Burton fucking Correct, at yeah. the helm. Yeah. Not just because of that, but it's like you said, it's based on the book. Right. Well, and I mean, Doll, one of the writers for the movie was... Doll was... Yeah. We should... I mean, we should talk about Doll at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know at what point, but... Yeah. I mean, he's a good fucking... He's a good book writer. Well, and he was one of the co-writers for, the, for the movie. He was one of the co-writers for the movie, I too. didn't know that. Yeah, they had him a part of it to, to be a co-writer for the film as well. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, he's he had his hand in this, which is another reason why, um, as goofy as it is with being a Tim Burton movie, you you, you intend the goofiness and the, the silliness and over the top shit. Um, but it's, it's also, I mean, it's, it, it was well done to a point. Um, and, and you could tell that there was, there was authenticity behind the writing because they had the writer who wrote the original book back to do it. So, or not back to do it, I guess had him a part of the actual writing, which was great. Um, but yeah, this came out in 2005. What other movies, um, came out in 2005, Dylan? 2005 Some movies. Fucking good ones. Batman Begins. Yep. Um, First Christian Bale Batman. Yeah, we did. Uh, the Devil's Rejects. We've covered that. Uh, did we cover The Devil's Rejects, or mm-hmm. was it just House of a Thousand Corpses? I thought we did. Is, is. I thought we did. You're right. It wasn't Devil's Rejects. It was the it was the prequel. Yep. Um, I guess I don't know the, the original to yeah. uh, The Devil's Rejects. Mm-hmm. Um, what else do we have? The Dukes of Hazards. That remake. Oh, that was with, another with, remake that, with, that uh, came out. Um, with, Owen Wilson... Johnny Knoxville, Johnny, Knoxville. not, not Owen Wilson. Uh, uh, sh- the guy Stifler, he played Stifler yep. in uh, yeah. Oh my God. Why am I spacing his name? Stifler. Yeah, sure. Uh, are we there yet? Uh, we talked you about talked that. to me about that one. Yeah, I haven't, yeah. I, I haven't seen it. Uh, talked about oh, that. kicking and screaming with Will Ferrell. That's oh, a good one. Yeah. Um, let's go more ad- adventure movies. King Kong, the OG, you were uh, shouts out to Peter Jackson, my boy. And Jack Black, and, and just just J- the Jay best Black. of both worlds in, in my oh yeah in, in my film you know like in, in things that I love in film coming together with Jack Black and Peter Jackson. Oh, here's one for you. Um, the Chronicles of Narnia. The the first one, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Uh, no, this is yeah the Lion, the, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and that's another movie uh, based off of a book. Yep. Um, what else do we got? I saw um, the descent. Have you seen the, the descent? descent? I don't know. That's a terrifying. That's a really, really. Good Is it movie. under the here the horror movies? It probably would be. Yeah, and then land oh, of the fuck Constantine, the another book um, that was at, adapted I, as a comic book. I've yet to see. Also, Sin City another uh, adapted from a book. Is that Revenge of the Sith? It yes. It is. Revenge Which of the Sith came out in 2005. I think we've talked about that. That's one of my favorite movies. Is it? Yeah. Really? Because like movies I like origins right i like right. origins and so it's you like the origin. prequels of star wars then i like the third one okay yeah which was the best one of the prequels and i like darth maul which is the best one of so the i feel like I'm, of, I'm like general yeah. audience with it another good movie that came out uh four brothers oh marky mark yeah, yeah. that's a marky that's a, mark and andre 3000 isn't it 
Yes, he is. Is one of the brothers. <laughs> hey, yeah. Miss Jackson. Woo-hoo. Dude, uh, Sin City. Four Eels. I said that. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Um, that's that's another comic book uh, movie. Mm-hmm. 2005. You're getting into uh, your guys's fucking, um, I mean, generation of being angsty teenagers watching mm-hmm. movies and shit. Um, the last one I was going to say is The Weatherman um, because fuck you. I love Jim Carrey. I Jim Carrey's in The Weatherman? I thought so. I, is that I thought that was Nicolas Cage. It's Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that one. I know who Sorry. was in it, but I haven't, I haven't seen that one. Um, yeah. So, I mean, some good movies. Um, a lot of... Vendetta. Dude, Wedding Crashers, Cage. 40 Year Old Virgin. All right. We're... Um, Wow. Not talking about movies that came out in 2005. Yeah. A lot of good ones. Though. Yeah, really good movies. Um, but yeah, so so uh, I, I'm another comedy and I also adaptation of either a previous film or a book um, that came out this time. So uh, director, like we said previously, Tim Burton. Um, I don't need to tell you Tim Burton movies. What's your favorite Tim Burton movie? You can't say Batman Begins. Or ba- you can't say Batman. It's not Batman Begins. Uh, or it's ba- Batman. Well, it's Batman and Batman Returns. Yeah. Um, I can't say either of those. I mean, if you want to, you can. I, I mean, top one would be Batman Returns okay. with Danny DeVito. There you go. And then after that is Edward Scissorhands. Mm, okay. okay. Um, and then, I mean, everything else is tied for third, probably. Yeah. Nightmare Before, for me, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Um, so the box office budget for this one, $150 million. So Compared to the original, which was $3 million, this was $150 million for the budget. Um, and also, unlike the original, this one f- crushed it at, at the box office. did so well. Um, gross worldwide uh, was $474,968,763. It made opening weekend $56 million. So it didn't do great opening weekend, but overall, throughout the time that it was in the theaters, it made, made very, very good money. So... Which is surprising. <coughs> Which is surprising only because um, the original Willy Wonka uh, bombed. You said, yeah, yeah, yeah. It did, didn't do well at all. Um, so yeah, uh, considered a success for sure. Um, so for the cast here, uh, it's a Tim Burton movie. So Johnny Depp's in it. Helena Bonham Carter's in it. Um, of course, because they're in every fucking Johnny or every Tim Burton movie. But we got Johnny Depp who plays Willy Wonka. Uh, Freddie Highmore plays Charlie Bucket. David Kelly plays Grandpa Joe, which is different than the mm-hmm. yeah. Which because I believe Grandpa Joe is the name of the actual character in the book, not Grandpa George. Okay. Um, Helena Bottom Carter uh, is Miss Bucket, Charlie's mom. Uh, Noah Taylor, Mister Bucket, Charlie's dad. Uh, Miss Beauregard was Missy Pyle. Um, she. I've seen her in things before, and I can't. I, I never. I never remember what it is that she is actually in, but I, I know I, her I face when a, I see her. Yeah, she's a typecast. Yeah. Um, let's see. What does the Google machine say that she was in? Mm, she was one of the robots in or Aliens and Galaxy Quest. Okay. All mm. right. Um, mm. Bring it on. Cheer or die. One mm. of the sequels for it. Goodness. Um, Teen Titans Go. Oh, she was the. She was a voice actor okay. for it. Um, Interesting. Going through. Oh, man. Just not. In a lot of shit. Yeah, a lot of. No, I mean, like. Hmm. She was in Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Okay. Um, I mean, definitely not an A-list. Oh, star. I remember her in the Foo Fighters music video for Run. It's They're at an old folks. So it's a really cool music video. Foo Fighters does it all the time. They make very, very good music videos. But they're all the band members are all in an old folks retirement home, and they're putting on a show, a concert at the old folks retirement home. That's She's cool. the nurse giving them the meds, that's giving them their meds. Cool. Yeah, okay. That's, that, that is what I usually remember her as. She was in Gay of Thrones. Oh, Never wow. heard of that. She was in mm. Gone Girl. I don't remember her in Gone Girl. That's a really good movie if you haven't seen it. You know what I am? is I'm I'm done talking about what this woman was in. Okay. Is what it, she, she, she has been in uh, so far with like literally probably 100 movies that she's done. Two of them I've known. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, she plays uh, Miss Beauregard. Um, James Fox plays Mr. Salt. Uh, Deep Roy. Um, this is this is one of the big uh, things that I want controversial to, moments. Yeah, one of the big things I wanted to bring up is Deep Roy played literally every single Oompa Loompa. Mm-hmm. Um, the only reason I give it a little bit of credit is because he had to go through all the different movements 
like at least a hundred times each to have them not look the exact same with different, uh-huh. with different timing and stuff. So and you can tell that too. Yeah. That's the credit that I will give to it. Um, the credit that I will, I, I don't like that it's, it, but he gave it the, the Tim Burton treatment. That is basically what happened here. I just don't yep. like that. They're literally the exact same identical character. Um, I like it. No personality. You do, you, you do like it. I do like it. Okay, so there's a bit that we'll get to later at the end of this that that, that that'll that'll p- play to that. So, um, I've made my opinion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, Christopher Lee, dude. Christopher Lee as Willy Wonka's dad, the dentist. Or, yeah, the yeah dentist, orthodontist, whatever. Anything Christopher Lee's in. Oh yeah. Right. It's his voice. Lord, I'm attracted to his Lord voice. of the Rings, Dylan. You, I know. He's in that. So I know. It's amazing. I know. Um, you've got Adam Godley uh, as Mr. Teeve, the uh, the father um, for the little boy. Uh, Francisca Trog- um, that Mrs. Gloop is Fran- mm-hmm. Francisca. Uh, Anna Sophia Robb plays Violet Beauregard. Um, and then Julia Winter plays Veruca Salt. Uh, we've got Philip Weirgitz as Augustus Gloop. Um, da, 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 let's see. Wait, so there's a Grandpa Joe and a Grandpa George? Well, yeah. He's got both sets of Oh, that's right. I So scratch what I said. So David Morris plays Grandpa George. Oh, okay. Yeah, so scratch what I said previously. Okay, I don't know what the David fuck Kelly I'm is the grandpa that we is, actually hang out with. <laughs> is it the one that we chill with? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause the other, the other one, I mean, that one's the one that sleeps all the time or whatever. Right. And Just he has, and, and then, and then his wife is like the, I don't know, nutty kind of crazy one. She, the kooky yeah, one. Yeah. Like uh, she has like two lines, like, like, so, like two oh, of but her lines. Both fucking yeah, hilarious. She's like, I like grapes. Yeah. Like this is one of her lines. It's great. Um, so yeah, is there anyone else that you want to add? I, I did want to say with the, the kid that plays Charlie, um, Freddie, He's yeah. also in a movie called August Rush, and oh. it's it's one of those out there movies for me. Okay. Like it's not a thriller, it's not a horror, it's not a superhero movie. It's a it's a it's a love movie, a hmm. drama, right? Okay. There's little humor in it. It's a love story. Was he also young when he did it, or was he yes, a little bit older? He was also young. Okay. okay. Um, and and the reason I think I like it is because he's a musician. And oh, okay. Um, yeah. And it it's it's August Rush. Okay. It's fucking amazing. I'll to, yeah, I'll have to check that out. I didn't even know. I literally the first time I've ever heard the name of that movie. Really? Yeah, never heard of it. So it's good. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Sweet. You'll judge me for it, but it's good. Probably. I love it. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I mean that's that's all I got for all well, we've got for cast. So how about we jump into the scenes? Say hello to our favorite scene. And now, our favorite scene. The scenes. I will say one thing about the characters is you quite literally, we could have just said the movie was directed by Tim Burton. Done. That's it. And then you know You probably would know the cast that's in there. Yeah. Right. Um, Scenes. Yep. Scenes. Um, So I I like the, it's not just one scene, but it's a lot of them. It's a few of them put together, but like. The flashbacks? Of how Wonka became. Yes. The ch- chocolate obsessed. I, yep. I really like the backstory of how Wonka became. Is um, it because Christopher Lee is in those scenes? That's part of it. <laughs> that's part of it. I think he just played a great, uh, like, dude, this, the scene of like, like him bringing home his candy from Halloween and him literally just going through and talking about how terrible it is and then burning nope. it in front of him. Nope. Yeah. Like, like that's, it's, it's like, okay, well how do you, and I, I believe we, was that a cat? Yeah. <laughs> I believe we've talked about it before is like, how do you get a child to do the opposite of what you want them to do? Tell them they can't do that thing. Yeah. It's the epitome of like, Oh, you can't have chocolate. And then he becomes the biggest chocolate connoisseur and biggest chocolate creator well, yeah. in the history of the world. Right. I mean, we talked about this last episode. I love peanut butter. Mm-hmm. And that's because I couldn't, I like, it was not easily accessible. For this me. is another like I bit was, of shitting on your sister. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, Megan. God damn it. Uh, she probably doesn't listen anyway, so it's okay. Yeah. But God damn it. Like I couldn't, we couldn't have peanut butter in the house. So I couldn't just eat fucking Reese's pieces on the regs. Right. And, and it was because of her. And now I'm an adult and I fucking love Smash it. Smash on peanut butter. Dude, yeah. For real. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's, that's fair. I get that. 
Um, but yeah, any of those flashbacks where it's it's him, you know, learning how to to taste yep. and rank chocolate, and you know, him choosing to move out of the house to go, you know, research and and create his own chocolate empire. Like it, the, I, those scenes, I, I yeah. loved. Well, and I'll say one of my favorite is all the way at the end of the movie is when um, Charlie convinces Willy Wonka to go back and see his dad. Yeah. And this is like at the very end of the movie Mm -hmm. and like dad doesn't even know that's his son and recognizes him because of his teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's a fucking hard ass dentist. Um, I haven't seen my cuspids like this since. Yeah. Mm. You haven't flossed in 30 some years. Yeah. And he goes not once. (laughs) Not once. And then that like they fucking I don't know. You it's, don't it's, expect him to just bring him back in and give him a hug, and he fucking and he does. does it. Yeah, and and well, and you and, see and on that, the walls all the I mean, all the articles he's kept of of all yeah, the you know, like he's proud of his son, right? Um, but he still he doesn't reach out, so he's kind of a piece of shit. But also, he's still a proud father. Yeah, and I mean the fact like they have that warm embrace, but obviously it's fucking eating Willie up. Oh, dude, yeah, throughout. The entire movie, well, like, throughout his whole life, just fucking like set him off, mm-hmm. and and like they, <laughs> are you okay? Oh, just just having a flashback, yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's it's the whole reason that he has the whole offer to Charlie at the end to give him the factory, yeah. and then when he asks him if his family can come with him, it's it's because of his trauma that he experienced with his dad. That he's like, nah, fuck your family, bro. They're yeah. not coming with. They're just gonna get in your way of making chocolate. Like, no. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's those those scenes are really good, and and that scene where he kind of makes up with his dad is all is is yeah. It's a it's a heartfelt one. It's it's really nice. Absolutely. Um, th- this one is an homage to the original, um, and it's in the book, but it's not the way how they did it in this movie was not in the way it was in the book, I guess. Okay. Uh, but it's the the bad nut scene, which is similar to the bad egg scene. Um, yeah. In the first one, but with the squirrels. I wanted to ask you which one is in the book. What do they do in the book? I believe it's the bad egg bit. I, I think that's the one. This is yeah. the, this is why we were asking about um, people. That's why we wanted someone that's no, that knows <laughs> that how to had read. read the books and, and not, knows how to and read and not read the fucking <laughs> subtitles. God, yeah, Jesus, Chase. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I, did see I read that. the subtitles. That count? No, it no, doesn't count. It's Chase. not the same thing, you dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I was gonna say dick, but I was like, I don't want to be too mean, you uh, dick. But it's yeah, like dingus. Dingus. I love dingus. I like that. I like I that. I'm going to start calling, calling my, people dingus. Now. Yeah, yeah. Fucking dingus. <laughs> but yeah, the bad nut scene with the squirrels. Um, and I got some stuff in trivia that makes that scene even cooler. Um, but yeah, like that, that whole scene with it paying homage to the, um, to the original, uh, movie. And you know, it, I, I thought that was, that was a fun scene and a pretty cool one. Um, not as much CGI used in that as you would think. Um, so yeah, you got, uh, I have a couple more. You got any other ones? No, you go. Okay, so uh, the blueberry, obviously, uh, violet turning violet. You know that that one. I liked it just because it was it it, it was t- done to the extreme. But um, I d- it, the heavy CGI, like we talked about in the first one, kind of it just took me out of it. Um, you know, and and the 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 whole like the song with the Oompa Loompas with it. Like you're going to hear me say negative things about this movie. I did not enjoy it nearly as much as the other two. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, for scenes that I didn't hate as much as the others, <laughs> that one is one that sticks out to me just cause it was kind of fun. Um, and another, you know, call back to the original and the book. Um, let's see here. The, this goofy one that it's very Tim Burton. Um, but the intro where all the puppets are there and and they're introducing Willy Wonka and stuff like that. And he's just back there standing and watching it and all the puppets burn and melt. It's like a real brutal thing where all the, the puppets are like melting and, and you know, it's like showing the X, the, the skeletons of them and shit. Like it, it was a very Tim Burton thing that I thought was interesting. And I'm like, Oh, that's a nice little touch that they put Mm -hmm. in there. It was kind of funny. Yeah. Um, it was a different take on how uh, uh, Gene Wilder walked out with the cane and did the 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 role and everything like that, where they expected him to be the Willie to be on this throne with all the fireworks and stuff like that. But he's standing behind him, just enjoying watching the actual show yeah, himself. Yeah. It's a little bit of trickery, it's kind of uh, a, another homage to the original. I like the um, the TV kid. I forget his name. Um, oh, uh, uh, 
But in this one, he's like a, a, a gamer kid and a, a fucking hacker and shit. Mike. Like it's it's updated. Mike. Mike. Yeah, Mike T. Okay. Yeah. So the the Mike scene where he fucking teleports himself. Yeah. Um. I mean that that whole fucking scene is mm-hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. And and I think the reason that I like it is because I like the uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory scene so mm-hmm. much. Right. Is like with little fucking like the like, CD particles yeah, in the air. Yeah. yeah the the fucking, million different pieces. Of- right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um. And this is like an updated version of that. Um. And right. I think that's a lot of the scenes that I like are ones that are similar to the original movie just modernized yeah yeah just modern and and like and and using cg yeah like i watched this one with my kids and um like they thought the whole fucking violet you're turning violet that whole <laughs> like that piece of gum yeah like they thought that was fucking hilarious yeah <laughs> and i mean and and they have shit like that these days where you, they have candy where it's almost like, oh, you like chew it and it's this flavor. Oh, really? And then, well, they have gobstoppers and shit that do oh, yeah. things like that. Yeah. But like, I mean. Layered in different flavors. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know, like a whole fucking meal and one piece of gum. Like that's pretty fucking cool. It's cool. Yeah. And then it's very Tim Burton-esque of like the machine like going through this huge process. Right. And, like, and then like all like the different Steve arms going, going out. Yeah. And, and then one, one little slip of gum. Stick of gum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what is that? I know what that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, for sure. That's, and that, that whole scene is, it is, it is well done. Um, I, I don't want to go, I don't want to say that. Uh, it's, it's, Come it is on. what it is. I mean, it, it, like, I, it, it's fun. It's it's fun. It, it's it's yeah. campy. It's fun. It's it's very Tim Burton esque. If you enjoy Tim Burton, you'll love this movie, um, or you'll at least enjoy the movie. Um, the only other scene that I wanted and shoot, it is slipping my mind right now. Um, oh, the only other scene is at the end of the movie when, uh, which I wish they would have done it in the original, was to show how like what happened to all the kids. It shows them walking out after she's been juiced. Yeah. It shows, you know, the, the, the boy after he's been stretched with stretched with the taffy, taffy puller. puller. Yeah. 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 And Gus discovered in chocolate and everything like that. Uh-huh. So, um, I like that scene cause it showed how the kids ended up while right. he's flying away in the glass elevator. And so yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. It was really fucking good. Yeah. You got any more? No, Nope. All right. Let's move on to our quote section. Quotes. I want the quote. You can't handle the quotes. Here's our favorite quote from this week's movie. Um, so I don't have very many quotes for this one. Um, if you do, that's great. You can run with them, but I don't have very many for this one just because I didn't find it as much of a quotable movie. Did you? <laughs> um, so the grandma one. The, the 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 kooky grandma uh, she one. tells yeah she went and this is towards the end but it's when Willy Wonka comes in there and uh, she says to Willy Wonka like you smell like peanuts I love peanuts and he says oh thank thank you you smell like uh, old people and and soap I like it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um, well because at that point it's when he's starting to finally realize that like maybe a family is not a bad thing it's not a terrible thing you know yeah. Um, he, he, this Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka, I feel like is very similar to Gene Wilder's in the aspect of it's his little fucking quips that really make the character. Okay. Um, like when they're talking about Mike going through the TV and stretching him out in the taffy puller, mm-hmm. um, Willy Wonka says, let's go put him in the taffy puller. And then the dad, like horrified, is like the taffy puller. And then Willy Wonka goes, "Hey, that was my idea." Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. And then, and then I got it. Seems like I really fucking like Mike um, now that I'm saying all of this. But um, Willy Wonka, like all of his fucking lines, like you're mumbling. No one likes yeah. mumblers. Mumbler. Yeah. Mumbler. Yeah. 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 So, and uh, the the similarity that I see between Gene Wilder and Jeb's and Johnny Depp's uh, character is their complete lack of give a fuck for the kids. Like, like they don't, they, they it's, he doesn't give up, doesn't care what happens to him. Right. Doesn't care. You know, it, it's at yeah. the beginning with Veruca salt. Um, she's like, hi, I'm Veruca salt. It's nice to meet you. I don't like, care. And, and he's like, I thought Veruca was <laughs> oh, yeah. a wart that you got on your foot. Yep. 
Like, that's not what you tell a kid. Even no. if it fucking is. Like, right. you don't fucking say that. Yeah. He don't give no shits. That was one of the quotes I had. Yeah, that's a funny one. And yeah, like, he, like there was literally one of the kids that walked up to him and was like, hey, I'm, I'm blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I don't care. Yeah, and I don't <laughs> care. Yeah, it's so Little good. girl, don't touch that squirrel. Don't touch that squirrel's nuts. It'll <laughs> make him crazy. <laughs> That scene was that scene was fun. It was fun, and again, I got some trivia for it that'll make it pretty cool. Um, do you? So the the only other one that I have is uh, it, it's another one of the from the original was one of my favorite scenes, and they did a really really good job. One of the positive things I'll say about it is they did a very very good job in this one of the whole edible room making it look very very appealing and very up to date and cool. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. But the conversation or the quote was, uh, do you like my meadow? Try some grass. Please have a blade. Please do. It's the, what is it? It's so delectable and so darn good looking. Charlie Bud goes, you can eat the grass. He's like, of course you can. Everything in this room is edible or eatable. Even I'm eatable. But that's called cannibalism, cannibalism, my dear children, and it's in fact frowned upon in most societies. Yeah, like that's like it. And again, like there's there's parts of it where it's got a little bit more of a an adult style joke to it. Um, but still, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say sound like your mic cut out. Um, but yeah, it, it, they they did a really good job of of. I updating it they didn't yeah they did an all right job of, of making it making it more modern and still being able to appeal to multiple age groups in mm-hmm. when you go to see the movie yeah for sure any other quotes that you have oh fuck um i told you I had two and you took one of them so <laughs> i mean i was i was gonna talk about the and that's cannibalism yeah yeah that's a good one um let's see i always thought veruca was a kind of a wart <laughs> I mean, all of the, but daddy, I want that. Yeah. I want a flying glass elevator when they're all walking out. Mm-hmm. And then, and then that's when the dad snapped. He's like, you'll he's get like, a bath or you'll get in you and nothing yeah, else. And yeah. that's it. And that's fucking final. It's like, finally like, oh, okay. And like, he's finally standing up to his bratty yeah. ass daughter. What's the one where, um, they're talking about the, the, uh, the gum that gives them hair. Mm, and it's like, oh, who the- would, who would want a beard? Yeah. Um, well, beatniks for one and yeah. folk singers well he and he goes through that whole monologue of like it dude that one that one's silly if you can find that one that's a okay. that's, right, that's a good one but yeah that, it's it's silly because it's it's a it's depp being goofy it's it's a it's a goofy johnny depp bit that i i think it's up a bit um but it's a goofy johnny depp bit that that fit him and his character really well um i so what, well beatniks for one folk singers and motorbike riders you know, all those hip, jazzy, super cool, mean, keen, and groovy cats. It's in the fridge, daddy-o. Are you hip to the jive? Can you dig when I'm laying down? You know what? <laughs> you know that you could slice me. Slide me some skin, soul, soul brother. brother. Yeah, and then he just puts his hand out, and the kid just ignores him. Yeah. Yeah. That's Depp being goofy-ass yeah. Johnny Depp. Was it me? Was it just me? Or could you not see Jack Sparrow the entire time? No, really, and and let me tell you, this is going to be right behind you. Mannerism, just be mindful. Wise, like, um, no, I I think that this is one of those movies that you put up with Edward Scissorhands, Jack Sparrow, um, maybe like the Secret Window or the Ninth Gate or Mad one Hatter. Of those. Um, his, yeah, you his, put it up with the Mad Hatter. All of these, like one guy, one fucking guy, and then you cut to. Um, oh fuck! What was that movie? Black Mass that he was in. Oh yeah, yeah, the um, gangster. It was full of prosthetics. Um, Tusk, where he's, oh my god, oh my god, Tusk, I forgot about Tusk. Where he's got the fucking nose with the yep. with the vein to make it look like a penis. Yep, the prosthetic. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then you look at a picture of him now, and like I don't know. I I mean, post Amber Heard trial, that like poor you, guy. You look at him now, and it. I can't believe that any one of those is the same other person. Especially I mean, especially Willy Wonka. Yeah. Like especially that character. He looks so young and he so, and yeah, it, it, it just doesn't, I mean, you can tell it's him, but it, he looks yeah. so much different than really any other role that he's played. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know and who, uh, whose favorite actor is Johnny Depp? Me? Logan. Yeah. Yeah. Logan loves Johnny Depp. Absolutely adores him. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, mean, I get he's, it. He's one of the greats for sure. Yeah. No, I get it. He's, he's fantastic. I think I, 
what the only thing that and it doesn't bum me out because he's done some great movies with him, but it's just mm-hmm. he, he's become synonymous with with, with Tim Burton with Tim Burton. Yeah. And, you know, like he's done some great movies outside of it. Obviously, the Pirates movies, you know, mm-hmm. uh, Black Mass. Uh, uh, um, see, I'm drawing a blank, but I mean, he's done some great <laughs> movies without without Tim Burton. I mean, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Oh, God. Yes. Tie it back. Cry baby. I mean, yeah, dude, a long time ago. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, so I guess what I he's a good well versed actor, but Tim mm-hmm. Burton and Johnny Depp go together like tuna fish and uh, and lamb chop. Is that, is that what, what it, is? it is? I can't remember. Like tuna fish. Like spaghetti and tuna. Yeah, I don't know. I big daddy, big daddy. Yeah, yeah, big daddy. I, I knew where it was from. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't have anything else for quotes. If you don't, you know, I think that's it. Yeah, like I said, not not a super quotable movie. Um, if, if you're a huge Depp fan or a huge uh, uh, Burton fan, Burton fan, then yeah, you probably would have caught on more. So, um, how about we hop into trivia? <laughs> Trivia. I can't do the high pitch. Did you? Was that you? Yeah. Was that actually you? In yeah. That? Mm, you're so sexy. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> so to his surprise, Deep Roy, the guy who played every single fucking Oompa Loompa, Oompa Loompa. Yeah. um, repeated the same movement several hundred times. Every movement. Mm-hmm. Several hundred times. While these were then put together digitally, each Oompa Loompa represents a separate performance by Roy. In recognition, Roy's salary was raised an extra million dollars. So they're like, we understand that that's a lot of work. Let's here's a here's another million dollars for for your. I mean, he signed up for it though, right? Yeah, but that's cool that they did that. It too. is. Yeah, yeah. I am a little miffed. I wish that they. I and I like the backstory of the Oompa Loompas mm-hmm. of like. Like showing and the that's, land that and, they were in, right? And because that's the that's the actual origins of the Oompa Loompas, right. yeah. But where's the green hair, right? Now, and see, that's, that was my thing. Did, they kind of did orange, right? Like it was, it looked very spray tanny. Okay, mm-hmm. um, but where's the white eyebrows? If you look at that guy though, that's his actual skin tone. Like that's that is his actual. That's what that dude looks like. Okay, yeah, it, and that's the thing is like I like. It's very like, I specific. I like the outfits and I like the hair, but mm. I also like the, like, I don't know. They could have paid a better homage to the actual Oompa Loompas in the books mm-hmm. and the in the movie. That was my main grievance about it. It's like, it's very specific. And from what I remember, from what I've heard, it's very specific in the book about how Oompa Loompas look. Yeah. And it's, and it's kind of like they're, it's like a trademark for them. It's, it's, it's the hair's like a point of pride from them. From what I've heard about the book, again, mm-hmm. I haven't read it, but it's a point of pride for them. The outfits are very specific on why they dress and act and mm-hmm. look the way they do. And Burton was like, nah, nah. Yeah. We'll just get this guy and we'll just fucking dub him like multiple times. And then we're good. That was another good quote is like after the first song. Um, and then it's like, how did they have that already? Like, oh yeah. <laughs> and then like, but with, with, uh, with Augustus's name already in it. And he's like, that's called improvisation. Yep. And he's like, give me a word. And she's like, gum. And he's like, gum is the worst. And, and like, <laughs> chewing I, gum is not, yeah. He does the rhyming. Yeah. Bit, yeah. yeah. And he's yeah. like, see, improvising. Yeah. And then the kid goes, that's not the same thing. And he's like, again, you're mumbling and I can't understand like a single word you're saying. Yeah. Like, um, but yeah, so he, uh, it, there's give and takes. There's good and bad to the Oompa Loompa performance. I, I enjoyed the, that they took different genres to make the difference. So there was different types of music for different songs. There was like mm-hmm. a, there was like a show tune one. There was yep. a, a rock a and roll one, a yeah, jazzy one, like rock and roll one. A, a techno style. Like uh-huh. I, I like that they did that. I did not like the imagery of the Oompa Loompas is what bummed me out. About I think it. they could have, I think they could have been, uh, a, more accurate with the portrayal like visually of the accurate. original. Yeah. yeah right, right. Yeah. And, and, and I will say this, I feel like this is an okay time to bring into it. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about it a lot more in the next movie, Yeah, but there's nothing that ties this as far as like the music to the original movie. Um, no, I didn't, I did not realize until well, and again, we'll talk about this later. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize, I didn't mean to touch your arm like that. Yeah, you did. Um, it's okay. <laughs> I'm glad you I, uh, <laughs> I I didn't realize how much I like the original soundtrack Dude. to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. One hundred percent. I agree. Um, yeah, but like, there's no, there's none of like the 
the pop culture. Dun, 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 right. Dun, dun, dun. None of that. Or, or even like, what is the, like the main theme? There's none of that in this new movie. No, no, it's not. And that, and it's one of the reasons why the third one, the, not the third one we're covering, not yep. the third movie, but like, that's one of the reasons why the brand new one that came out, I enjoyed it a little bit more. It's cause I was yeah. like, Oh, there's bits from the original in here that right. bring me back a little bit. How there much more trivia you got? Huh? Okay. A bit. Right. Let's, let's hop to it. Uh, so rather than relying on CGI, Tim Burton, this was the one I was talking about, about the bad nut. Um, rather than relying on CGI, Tim Burton wanted the 40 squirrels in the nut room to be real. The animals, the animals were trained every day for 10 weeks before filming, uh, commenced. They began coaching while newborns. So these squirrels were newborns. They were fed by bottles from, uh, to form relationships with human trainers. The squirrels were taught to sit upon a blue little bar stool, tap, and then open a walnut and deposit it into the meat, uh, container, I guess. So the meat of the walnut. Um, ultimately, the scene was supplemented by a little bit of CGI and animatronics, but the close-ups and the main action where they all kind of like swarm on her was all real squirrels, which was the, which was to me the most impressing part about this movie. That like, is fucking nuts. Out of all yeah. the things, like <laughs> you said, it's fucking gonna, nuts. That's great. Uh, yeah, yeah. No <laughs> pun intended. I did not intend to have that pun. Um, but out of all the things that were CGI and that could have been CGI, that's the practical one. Right. That's fucking it. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you could train a squirrel. I didn't I, think you could domesticate a fucking squirrel. I knew you could domesticate him. I didn't know you could train him like that, which that's, is which is mind blowing to me. It's nuts. Right. It's nuts. <laughs> I bet that one. It's fucking walnuts. Um, <laughs> so during production and this, I, I love talking about how much Gene Wilder hated this. Um, but during production, Gene Wilder in an interview with the Daily Telegraph accused the filmmakers of simply remaking Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for money. Uh, Johnny Depp defended this movie, saying it wasn't a remake of the earlier movie, but a new adaptation of the actual book. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would I would have loved to see like Gene Wilder sit down and actually watch the movie and just be seething the entire time, just pissed yeah. off, smoke coming out of his ears. Also, I would love Gene and Johnny Depp to sit down and and to have had a conversation. Yeah, I mean, like, no, we didn't do it before for Wilder died. It would have been great yeah. to be like, hey, man, like, like, right, and then have you had an iconic performance. Have and the we wanted to director sit down and all have an open discussion, right, and see if they could have convinced them and changed their mind, right, yeah. Or would Gene Wilder just be a, a like, cocksucker and be like, an old Fuck you, I'm leaving. Like, yeah, <laughs> probably, probably. Um, the singing voice of the Oompa Loompas belongs to that of Danny Elfman, uh, who overdubbed I'm himself dozens of times. It's another Tim Burton staple. It's Danny Elfman. Danny Elfman. Yeah. Um, in Charlie's bedroom on his wall, I don't know if you noticed this, but his wall is covered with every wrapping paper of every different type of Wonka candy bar or, or candy um, that he's ever eaten. And he kind of keeps them on his wall as trophies because he gets one a year for his birthday. So his wall is covered with the ones that I he didn't notice birthday. that. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Depp stated that he based his appearance on the costumes of Marilyn Manson's uh, album cover, The Golden Age of the Grotesque. Yep. Yeah. Which I, I don't I don't it. know the album cover. I I don't know if I've ever seen the album cover. Oh, I'm sure you have. It's the probably. it's the Marilyn Manson where it's a very like gender ambiguous oh, okay. white suit. Yes. And then all like white. white skin suit. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then red hair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie's father, who works at a toothpaste, you'll you'll like this one. Charlie's father works at a toothpaste factory with with which produces Smilex toothpaste. Smilex was also the name of the poisonous gas concocted by the Joker in Batman in 1989. Also directed by Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Yeah, but um, and his other homeboy, Michael Keaton. Yep, absolutely. And why haven't why hasn't there been a Michael Keaton and Johnny Depp movie? Tim Burton. Yeah, get on it. Get on it. What are you doing? doing? Yeah. Have, what villain would you have Johnny Depp play in a Batman? The Riddler. Riddler. That wasn't planned. That uh, wasn't was, planned at all. That was perfect. Yeah, the the Riddler would be the perfect role for him. Yep. I, I feel like he could do the Joker, but I don't want him to. I want him to play. He, he could do such a good job as the Riddler. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we do a Tim Burton Batman Beyond bring back oh my where god where Michael Keaton is fucking Batman but then you have Terry McGinnis as a Batman beyond oh because Tim Burton can do futuristic shit yeah for right? sure really and well then you have uh the Riddler who's just old and fucking over dude fucking Gotham he's as, fucking over it as John with Johnny Depp playing him done Ooh. wow 
Hit us up, Tim. You're welcome. Yeah. Hollywood. TM, trademarked uh, after the credits. <laughs> That's ours. Um, so uh, the flashbacks about Willy Wonka's childhood and him being obliged to wear a huge dental brace are not from the original book, but it is a reference. Really? Yeah, it's a reference to Tim Burton having to wear a very similar brace when he was a child. No shit. Mm-hmm. I love that part. Yeah, me did, I, no, I did it. too. I mean, it just led to the it, it led to his like yearning to want to be able to enjoy something that all kids get yep. to enjoy yep. and that he wasn't able to. Um, Doctor Wonka, Sir Christopher Lee, tells young Willie uh, that some people are allergic to chocolate to discourage him from eating yeah. the candy. And as a child, Johnny Depp was allergic to chocolate. What the fuck? So he could not enjoy chocolate as a child. Was How it? fitting. Yeah, how fitting that the character that he plays in this movie is uh, was Willy Wonka. His father was told it, told him as an excuse to not give him chocolate that he was allergic to it, but that or that he could be allergic. And to then it. he becomes Willy Wonka. Mm-hmm. And, and wasn't while. Johnny Depp in Chocolat? Yes, he was, dude. The 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 Depp chocolate universe. Wow, multiverse. This is uh, <laughs> it's beginning to feel like a little bit of a conspiracy. Yeah, we're we're uncovering something. We're going to be taken out. That's what, <laughs> we're we're going to be Epstein. We're There's not going to be able to fucking red dot <laughs> on my forehead. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Government's listening to the to this conversation. Yeah. We're going to get a phone call. Um, this is interesting and makes me feel old as fuck. Um, but cool. this Warner brother or this movie was the last Warner Brothers movie to ever be released on VHS. After this movie, every Warner Brothers movie, there were no more VHSs. They were all released on DVD. Wow. Anyway. Yep. Okay. It means me feel old. Back in my day, we had a VHS we had to, tape. We had to push a button to rewind it and had to listen to it rewind. Back so in my day, we had a separate machine to put the VHS in to rewind it. <laughs> my old man also sounds like Bane. Sounds exactly like him, yeah. Yeah, is your, your old man is Tom Hardy. Um, so Johnny Depp signed on without reading the script uh, to go with a completely different approach than the Gene Wilder uh, yep. because it was initially written to be played very similar to how Gene Wilder played the character. Okay. Um, but uh, Depp said that regardless of the first movie, uh, Gene Wilder's char- characterization, uh, characterization of Willy Wonka stood out as a very unique portrayal, and he wanted to do a very unique portrayal of him as, as well. So that's why he did. I love it. Did the way that he did. Johnny Depp once stated in an interview that he based his Willy Wonka performance on how he imagined former U.S. President George W. Bush would act when he was stoned. Uh, that doesn't that track. One more time. So Johnny Depp once stated in an interview that he based his Willy Wonka character on how he would think George W. Bush, former president George W. Bush, would act stoned. I don't see it. I don't either. I, I think that's Johnny Depp being... Johnny being, Depp. Yeah, yeah, I think that's him being silly because that doesn't track at all. Um, each Oompa Loompa song is... When we talked about this a little the bit... The left hand now knows what the right hand is doing. <laughs> right. So, yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't track his Willy Wonka... T- that doesn't. Everyone in America, or all of our terrorists, want to see hatred and destruction upon America. <laughs> and so do I. <laughs> oh, what a dummy. That's okay, though. So each Oompa Loompa song in the style of, was in the style of a different musical era. Uh, era. Let's try that again. Yeah. Word. Shall we? Shall we? Each Oompa Loompa song is in a different style of a different musical era. Additionally, Willy Wonka's comment for each song is a phrase from the corresponding era. Augustus Gloop was a Broadway musical. Bravo, well done. Aren't they delightful? Uh, aren't they charming? And clapping in the phrases of, and, and similar to yeah. like a, a Broadway musical. Um, Violet Beauregard's was disco. Veruca Salt's was a psychedelic type thing. Um, and then Mike was rock. It was a, yeah. was a rock. What did he say uh, to Mike's then? I wonder. I can't remember. Uh, it was on with the tour. On, on with the tour. With the so like, tour. The like a tour, of rock tours, yeah. stadium rock tour. Yep, yeah. Yep. Yep, and the psychedelic was we'll keep uh, well let's keep on trucking. I thought he said something about groovy. Did he? I think the groovy part was when he was doing the the bit with the uh, uh, the beard. Yeah. The beard. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought that, and that that was for me one of the redeeming factors about the Oompa Loompas was like, yeah, it wasn't the traditional like Oompa Loompa song, but they they took a different mm-hmm. twist on it mm-hmm. and did it in different genres where it was yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like that. So uh, the movie is the fifth Tim Burton movie and Johnny Depp collab- collaboration that they did in 15 years. That's so 15 crazy. years, they did five films together. The last little bit that but I have. So it's one of those things that like, I mean, you and I work well together. Mm-hmm. Why would we stop working together? Right, yeah. Because we work well together. They're putting out quality products. They are p- putting like out quality making content. Fucking money. Keep doing it. Yeah. Why stop? 
Don't fix it if it ain't broken. Um, so 206,563 U.S. gallons of fake chocolate were made for the river area, while 38,430 U.S. gallons of it were made for the waterfall. The grand total of all the fake chocolate used on stage was 244,993 U.S. gallons of they fake chocolate. They didn't learn. They didn't learn. Clearly not. Jesus Christ. I know, yeah. But yeah, that was the last little bit of trivia I had. Is there anything interesting you know about it you want to bring up? No. When was the first time you saw this movie? Um, so that story, I mean, I, I don't... <laughs> last I don't night. One. I don't have <laughs> one. Um, I mean, I, I can tell you, I watched it with the kids. and <laughs> Recently? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like watch rewatching it for right. this. Um, but it came out in that era. I mean, I remember like my parents would... Like get the three months free of Showtime, right? Or HBO the free or trial, whatever. Yeah. yeah, and and then like I don't know. I mean, we we'd have it off and on once in a while, and I remember this being on. I think it was HBO, mm-hmm. but I remember watching this, and it was fucking good. I right. liked it. Yeah, I mean, it's Johnny Depp, and I like Johnny Depp in high school, and I like him now. Mm-hmm. So. And, and my fucking kids think that it, the movie is fucking hilarious. It, it is funny. It's humorous. And I remember when I was younger, I enjoyed it. I, when, yeah. I, when, it when it first came out, I was like, oh, this is cool. It's because it was very visually stimulating. Like, it's, yep. very, it's very visually appealing. Um, I mean, but we're also put, like, you know, pinning it up against a classic. Right. An like an American classic. film classic. Right. And, and I, I mean, think that's and, why I'm so hard on it. Came up, yeah. Yeah. As a standalone, I fucking love it. Okay. Do you want to hear my ranking? I so bad. Seven point four. Seven four. Okay. Okay. I mean that's that yeah, that tracks. So you liked yeah. it, just not as much as the original. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, ask me again in thirty years and we'll mm. see like after it's Let been out set for an fifty years. For you thirty know? years from now, yeah. so I can I can And you're gonna ask me like, what the fuck? Why are you asking me that? What was it? your bane old man will be oh, I don't gosh. Know. I remember that film. <laughs> Time to go mobile. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so I was not as generous. And I assumed. For this one. I gave it a 5.3 out of 10. Um, Fuck. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the CGI. I'm always going to err on the side of practical effects. So did you nut at the squirrel scene? I was when I. That's why it was my favorite bit of trivia. Is afterwards I'm like I'm like they use real fucking squirrels in this movie full of CG of green screen CGI. They use real squirrels. I'm like, all right, that's sick. That's that was dope. my that was my third um, nut joke. Nut. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Um, there are some redeeming factors. The Oompa Loompa songs were 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 you know were okay they were they were they were somewhat redeemable um and the chocolate river looked a lot more realistic in this one than the than the original um, because it's not you who because it's not you yeah it's <laughs> not a that's not water with food coloring um but yeah so i mean that's kind of why i gave it the lower ranking than i yeah. gave it but but yeah so um sense. a little bit of uh, twisted uh, not twisted a little bit of a twist question that i'm gonna throw out to you um what is one thing you thought in this film that they did better than the original Whoa. Um, I mean, easy, easy for me oh. is giving us uh, more character development with Willy Wonka. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is ironic because the original movie is called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you get more of a story about Charlie. In this, in this one, and then, or no, in the yeah, in the in the, original, and right? This one, as you were saying, is called Charlie and the Chocolate Charlie Factory. and the Chocolate Factory, and you actually get more of a story about Willy Wonka, right? I mean, not not to say that there isn't any story about the other one, but you right. get more, right? Um, and that's why the fucking titles I I always get mixed up, yeah, because I view this movie it's all it's all about fucking right. Willy Wonka. Mm. But it's actually called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, right? Yeah, no, that but, that's 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 funny that 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 it is that way, and that's how the story played out in both films, yeah. given the titles completely different, right? But, but yeah, and you know, honestly, so my response was going to be for that for the same question was nothing, but not, <laughs> but like to be fair, to be fair to it, um, you your answer was absolutely right. Like that's that's that is the that is the thing that this movie did better than the original was the yep. backstory, and that's it's because. Again, you get that backstory in the book compared to uh-huh. the, the the original film that did it. Um, but do but you do you and and you also get a little bit of backstory with the uh, Oompa Loompas as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. But do you need it? Is it required? No, no, no. Clearly not because the first one did it without 
problem exactly. and it was still great. Exactly. Yeah. But it was nice to get that background and, yep. and to see, you know, to, and not to get too deep because it is really fucking Wonka, but like it, it gives you an insight to like, so the, to the inner workings of how, Willie got obsessed the way that he did with chocolate and it yeah. makes it more it makes it more it, it makes you able to relate to his feelings as a child going through the trauma of his dad literally giving him no joy out of anything yeah. like you know any like well and he's a mad fucking genius too. yeah yeah I mean a magician uh, um, a scientist mm-hmm. I mean an adventurer he- yeah, like, he, he I mean he's like the Elon Musk or the Steve Jobs or the fucking Bill Gates of candy fair yeah i agree cool but yeah that's all i have you got anything else no any uh any ideas on how you thought this should have ended how i think this should have ended everyone died Um, everyone fucking just (laughs) the factory explodes yeah and they all die no um (laughs) i i i it, it was a really good ending. As much as much as I didn't like this film, I do think that the ending I mean, was fitting. You with, got the dad and the son closure. Mm-hmm. Um, you get the the factory offered to Charlie on a condition, and then I love they literally just move his house to yeah, the inside yeah. the factory. And then, but then, the fake snow. Uh huh. Yeah. But then, so so you have the conditional like here you can have the have the factory, mm-hmm. but you got to fucking tell your family to kick rocks. Mm-hmm. But then. Like, it doesn't happen like that. Yeah. Like, the family gets to fucking come with. Mm -hmm. Because Willy Wonka learns that fucking family is important. Mm -hmm. And then, like, they're sitting down at the fucking dinner table. And Willy Wonka is there eating dinner with them. And Mm -hmm. then... Like they're starting to talk shop and shit like that. Right. right. And well, and it, that's kind of how you wanted the first one. To, how you were saying you wanted the first one to end. Yeah. And then they did it in the set. The second. And then they did it. Yeah. 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 So you enjoyed it. Yeah. No, I think the ending of it was of it was fine it, of him. Was him, that your favorite part when the movie ended? Yeah. Credits rolling. I was like, this is fucking great. This is the best part of this movie. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at all those names. This is the most entertaining this film's been. So no, no, it's not that bad. Like, again, if, if you're a fan of Tim Burton and if you're a fan of Johnny Depp and even the story of Willy Wonka, if you've read the books, yeah. you'll, you'll enjoy the movie. You, you, yeah. won't, you won't hate it. It's very over the top, which, again, it's mm-hmm. Tim Burton. It's, yep. it's very silly and goofy and out of this, you know, out of the world, out of this world. But it's, it's you'll enjoy it. You'll yeah, enjoy it's it. a yeah. world doll. But if you haven't seen it, check it out. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't pay money to see it. No, no, neither would I. HBO Max has it for free right now. So. Sure does. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks, guys, for yeah. stopping by and listening to us and watching us. Yeah, as well. and watching us um, on the old YouTube. Previous episode we did Gene Wilder's, mm-hmm. and the next episode we're doing fuck. What's the guy's name? Timothy in Wonka. Bateman. No. No idea. It, Timothy Christensen. Tim- <laughs> it's Timothy something. Barnes. I can't remember his name, but he and it sucks because he's a really fucking Paulson. good actor. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he is really good. Yeah. I'm just saying last name, but the new Wonka, the new Wonka, the, new film, Wonka. the one that That's came nice. out like uh, last week. So. Yeah. So check us out. Facebook. Um, I mean, YouTube, obviously, if you're watching this, you're watching it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Spotify, Apple podcasts, uh, check out our events tab on Facebook. Maybe we got something cool coming up. I can guarantee we do no matter what's going on. We, got, some, we, we got something coming know. up. And if we don't, we got episodes that you can go back and listen to. So check them out. Fuck yeah. Let us know if you guys want us to cover something that you would like to join us with. We now have the option to do something over the phone. We have options to, to do stuff remotely. So let us know if you want to be a part of the show. We would love to have you. After um, the credits with internet. Ooh, we're finally coming to, uh, we're, it's 2024. Yeah, we're, baby. we're finally joining in the the modern age of uh, of media, mm-hmm. and I'm digging it. I'm really excited. Also, go subscribe to the to the YouTube channel as well. I don't the know YouTube. if you do that, but yeah, yeah become a subscriber about the after the credit. Like, YouTube channel. comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, so hit the little bell notification in the upper left hand corner. Timothy Chalamet. 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 That's the that's the guy. That's the new Wonka. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Love you all. Thank you so much. Goodbye.